Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me. Just want to make a quick video and talk about just the importance of your custom audiences and the power of Trackify to really speed up your custom audience creation, lookalikes, and all that. And that's just one of the small features that this tool has to offer when we're talking about our Facebook pixel on our Shopify store. So I'm in the Trackify dashboard here, and what I want to do is I'm creating some opening lookalike audiences for anyone who has bought cow products from me. I don't want to just use the same cattle interest over and over again and overlap my audience and really um, give ad blindness to the same audience who sees every single one of my products that I used to advertise for years now. So we have our own audiences we've created, we have data, now we can utilize that with Trackify and with Facebook advertising and whichever tool you're using to really do that. Trackify just makes it super easy for us to create a whole bunch of audience, separate those audiences, and a whole bunch of other things. Um, so. We're in the audience builder here under the Facebook tools drop down. You'll go to audience manager and then on the CA builder, this is custom audience builder. I'm choosing my ad account for our farm animal store, the pixel ID and what I want to do for the CA name, the custom audience name. I'm going to go cow buyers, cow product buyers. I'll probably just go cow all product buyers just so I know be as specific as possible. And now I'm gonna go with an event based because I want to be able to select every cow product out there. Now a cool feature of Trackify here is we can use special unique tags, um, RR underscore track underscore, and then whatever keyword you wanna use. You can use this as a tag in any of your product listings and Trackify will be able to recognize that. So when you're creating Facebook audiences on anything, you're gonna be able to segment and create certain audiences that are more detailed um, than you'd be able to do manually without having to have some coding experience and a lot of technical type of stuff going into it. Trackify makes it super easy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the event of content name. Now they have content IDs. This can be for selecting individual products. Content name will go into the tags that we use within that product. You can have time data. So if you want to just have it at people who bought at 8 a.m. every morning on a Wednesday, you can even go that detailed in. Now we can get this information if you guys have the Facebook Pixel Helper extension from Chrome. Um, go to a sales page on your store. You can see the little uh, Facebook Pixel Helper extension here. You can click on that and then under the view content you'll have all the information. Here's our content ID if we want to create the audience for the individual product. We have our time data uh, of what we're doing right now. Then we have our under content name. These are all the tags that I'm using on Trackify and our RR track tags. You can see I have a cow print tag, I have a cow's tag, I have a leather boots tag, and I have a shoes tag. So this product falls into all those categories and I could use those tags to create separate custom audience. Today again, I'm just going to go with the cow's tag. So we're going to go event based, content name contains, our track cows. And now what's really cool about Trackify is usually we want to, we have to individually, if we're just going manually creating audiences, individually create each of the events, each of the timestamps. So if we want a 14 day view content audience of people who have bought cow products or seen cow products, we have to do all the steps to create this single audience and then you have to rinse and repeat if you want to do the 30 day or the add to cart or the purchase or whatever. Cool thing about Trackify here is they have a very bulk cut, uh, Facebook custom, uh, custom audience creator. So in this case, we have all of our cow products with the tracking tag. Now anything we select here, it's gonna create individual audiences for that. Now I wanna go obviously create people who have purchased cow products and then we can choose our, our, our time zones, our time range. So in the past 180 days, definitely want that. I'm gonna go with also the past 30 days because those people are just a little bit more active, a little bit more recent. You could even go in between. You could even do something super recent, super active. You've got a lot of traffic, a lot of buyers coming in. Create lookalikes off of maybe the people have bought in the last seven days. So in this case, so with these selections, we're gonna have three custom audiences created here. Now I'm gonna also go ahead and select the add to carts because that might be good lookalikes as well. So this is gonna create six custom audiences for us. 
a seven day add to cart, a 30 day add to cart, a 180 day add to cart, a seven day purchase, a 30 day purchase, and a 100 day purchase. And this is for any products that have the tag RR Track Cows. And that's for all my cow products, we have that tag. So it's going to have a very large custom audiences that we can use, again, as front end ads, as things we can retarget, as all types of different things we can create. So I'm going to go ahead and create these six audiences. And then from those, we can use the same LAA builder here in Trackify to create our lookalikes and have opening ads, opening audiences that are brand new things that haven't gone. So it should take a few seconds, probably minutes to populate. But if we go into our audiences section of our ad accounts here, they should be populating. <clears throat> Shoes are correct. Ad accounts. And there we go. Cal all product buyers purchase 180 days, purchase 30 days, purchase 7 days, add to cart 180, add to cart 30, add to 7. So those are populating and going forward. Again, we can create our lookalikes from there. And we're going to use these opening audiences for new launches that we have going on. At the longer, the more we sell. The cow products, the more data Facebook gets and the better off that this can create. And then the more lookalikes and, and different timestamps we can put on our custom audiences. So very powerful stuff. Again, this is just one of the features of Trackify. I've just been so stupid over the years for not taking full advantage of what Thomas has created here. It's, one of, it's the best Facebook advertising tool you can have when it comes to Shopify. And I think he's also starting to expand out into ClickFunnels and other different website providers now. Um, so if you're using Facebook advertising, the advantages, the features. This is just, again, one of many. I don't even know probably half of the things that can be done with Trackify or how to use them myself. So I'm going to continue learning and kind of showing you guys all the different things that Trackify and then Facebook advertising has to offer. So hopefully this helped you guys a lot, shows you just how you can speed up your custom audience process and how we can get things really kind of cranking. Once again, guys, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up. Travis Patel here. Have a good one.